When working in Google Sheets, there are a number of different options for charts. I'm going to select some data here and make a chart and demonstrate some of those options. Here in the chart editor, the very first setup side, obviously I can change the type of chart, but the options I want to take a look at are these down here. Uh, first, I can change the data range, A1 to A3, but uh, if I switch, right now I've got true Koshra Yap Pompe on the x-axis and the two columns are male and female. If I click on switch to rows, I move the uh, male and female down to the x-axis and I've got the states up here now. Sometimes that one switch changes the chart to what you want it to have. There are times when for some reason you maybe you don't want that first column you selected to be a, a header, you want it to be down in the data. So you can turn it off like this, and now that population 2010 column, column A, is down on the graph. In this case, I don't want that, so I'm going to move that up. Same thing, sometimes for some reason you don't want row 1 involved as, a, as labels. Uh, again, I, that in this particular case, it doesn't make much difference. If I switch to rows and columns, putting male and female down here, again, I can put the population 2010 in the graph or take it out of the graph from the second option. The third option doesn't have an impact in this particular case. So that those options down here are worth playing with. And as always, make sure that your data range includes all the labels that you intend to graph. My data range is A1 to E3. That includes all the labels. So when I play with the different options, I'll get a labeled graph.